Soul Tribe channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Lorient, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that's a very, very important, and that's playtime. I'm a firm believer that a child's job is to play. There's so much importance to playtime, so much research to back that children really do grow, learn, and develop through play. And so playtime is a big deal, but before you had kids, you probably didn't think a whole lot about playtime. You probably just thought there are toys, a child will play. But there's so much more to it than that. With all of the different research and theories and styles, it can be a little bit overwhelming trying to figure out what it is that you want to do with your child and how you want to facilitate play. In our house, we don't really restrict certain kinds of toys. So we have a pretty healthy mix of, you know, plastic toys with lights and sounds as well as wooden toys that facilitate more open-ended play or perhaps more Montessori style as well as sensory play activities. We like to do a little bit of everything Thing. I kind of believe that like balance is just really healthy but I do have to say I am quite partial to sensory play and Montessori style toys um, but when I kind of started looking into all of it I'm not gonna lie to you I found it incredibly overwhelming like I did not know where to start <laughs> there is a place that I go often to research things I go to YouTube and I started learning more about you know Montessori style play and open-ended play and sensory play and I would see people create you know these sensory bins and I would see you know different kinds of toys that you can kind of put together out of either things in your house or things that you go out and grab and I would see um, sensory table stuff I was like this is all really great but like we're all super busy there has to be a product out here that kind of like takes like the work out of it and kind of just makes it easier and I think sometimes when things are easier for us as parents it kind of allows us to be more present and in the moment with our kids um, when we're not like stressed getting the activity together when we can kind of just like open a box and like there's the activity and that's when I came across Love Every and their products and their play kits and I was like this is amazing. This is exactly what busy parents need. I first love every product that I was introduced to was their play gym. Um, and we bought that for Josiah like right before he started tummy time. So he kind of had like a designated area to do that. Um, I love the actual product. I love the way it looks in our home. It's got some colors on it, but it's not like overly obnoxious. I love like the natural wood arch over top. I love that you can switch out the black and white cards. And I love that it came with attachments, but you could also take them off and hang different things from the top or you can put the mirror up top. It's a pretty versatile play gym that kind of allows you to do different things and kind of move your child to the different stations along the edges as they progress and develop. Got great use out of it with Josiah. Now it's Ariella's play gym. It was definitely money well spent. And I love that they have products that they sell that can be added on to the play gym, um, as well as a little tent cover that it comes with. So when your child is a little bit older, you could turn it into a cool little fort for them, a little reading nook, whatever they like. For me, as a busy parent who wants their child to still have toys that help them learn and develop and nourish their mind, the play kits are the real gold here. Love Every's toys are made for learning and they're designed for all of your child's learning stages from birth all the way up to three years old. They work with a team of experts, academics, researchers, and specialists to create products that promote your child's brain development. Another key point here is that their toys are sustainable and they're made with sustainable, organic, and natural materials that you can feel safe letting your baby play with, especially those little ones that like to gnaw on things. Um, and also you know that they are good for the environment at the same time. Also, you can feel extra safe knowing that their products meet or exceed industry safety standards for babies and children. They undergo consistent safety testing and quality control processes, and they allow families and children to test out all of the products as they develop them. You know you're getting things that have been tested out by real families and are loved. You just saw me unboxing all of Ariella's stuff. The first thing that I showed were these sensory strands. These are an add-on for the Love Every Play Gem. They can be purchased separately on the website. Um, but if you look at the boxes, you'll see that the first couple of boxes for like the early months um, contain a lot of things that you can actually use as add-ons for your Play Gem, especially like the black and white cards, or you can hang teethers up top. They send little mirror cards that you can add in. Uh, and I have to say, like the black and white cards and the mirrors seem like such a simple thing. Josiah loved them when he was little and I think Ariella even more so enjoyed like the contrast cards so never underestimate the power of something so simple she really really does love the sensory strands I think because of all the different textures and sounds that they make when she kind of kicks them um, as you guys saw the play kits come with quite a bit of stuff I was actually impressed especially for a kid Ariella's age because she's so young it's almost like well, what can she really do but there is actually quite a bit of stuff in there and she loves it all so she got the charmer kit 
kit. It's for ages three to four months. And this kit focuses on developing speech and oral motor strength, encouraging social awareness, practicing using both sides of the brain and making the most of tummy time. And can I tell you, it really does make the most of tummy time. She tolerates tummy time so much better. Now when she has things to keep her occupied and things to look at, like I said, she loves her black and white cards and she loves a mirror. Homegirl loves to look at herself. And the one that they sent in this kit is so big and so clear that she's just obsessed with it and you can prop it up pretty much anywhere and she just she loves to look at herself so it is a great box I was so impressed with how much came in it and so impressed by how much she really did enjoy everything Now I'm unboxing Josiah's play kit. This is the realist play kit. It's for months 19, 20, and 21. And this kit focuses on early lessons in counting, building concentration, dexterity, and tenacity, practicing precise hand-eye control, and explores new sensory experiences. Just like Ariella's kit, this one comes chalk-filled with a lot of great toys and activities. It even has a book. And I forgot to mention that these kits come with booklets for parents that explain what each of the toys is, how they're kind of played with, and what they do for your child's development development, which is great. It really allowed me to feel some confidence in the playtime area. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was an area that I felt a little bit insecure about at first. It was like, I didn't necessarily know how to facilitate a playtime routine that would help my children learn and develop while also just letting them have fun and be kids. And these play kits made it so simple for me. I don't have to go out of my way to kind of curate toys. The toys come to me, you don't have to worry about if it's the proper toy for your child's specific age because they curate all of their boxes for different age groups like I said all the way up to three years old that's actually something I struggle with quite a bit with my son when I'm shopping for toys for him sometimes I feel like the things that are marketed towards his age group are, are too young for him um, but then the things that are just like slightly above maybe for two-year-olds I find are a little too advanced for him quite yet so that's actually been a little bit of struggle for me and I love that the play kits kind of take the guesswork out of like is this age appropriate for him also so as a parent you know that like playroom or not like you're just always gonna have your kids toys and their stuff everywhere like you can clean it up a thousand times a day it just somehow creeps back into the living room love that love every toys are kind of appealing to the eye I'm not embarrassed to have them you know kind of spewed about my living room and all over the place aesthetically they're just like really beautiful toys and the quality is there Oh, it's probably a bad idea. I'll never be able to hide from you anywhere. Look, you did it. That's a good job. As you guys can see, the Love Every Play kits are a hit around here. Even Ariella is having a good time with her Charmer kit. She's a very drooly baby. She's extra drooly when she's excited and like she has literally soaked the play gym. <laughs> That's how excited she is over all of her stuff. Turtle. Do you know what a turtle says? Me neither. These play kits are actually a subscription service. So if you sign up for these, these just show up at your door. And then it's like Christmas morning for your kids every time a new package arrives and you can probably check off a bunch of things on your to-do list because your kids will be distracted with some new fun but educating toys. <laughs> also, I think a subscription for these play kits could be a really great gift idea. So if you're a grandparent and you're watching this, maybe a fun thing to subscribe to um, for your grandkids or if you know somebody that's having a baby, nice little shower gift. Honestly, I think that's really creative. Um, <laughs> thanks, guy. These kits really take the guesswork out of sensory play for parents. We don't have to do a whole lot of curating or gathering parts or figuring out what the best toys or activities are. They just come to your door and the kids really do love them. If you guys are interested in learning more about Love Every and their play kits, I'm going to leave the links down below. You can check it out. I don't have affiliate codes to share with you. I don't get paid if you guys make a purchase. Um, I'm just sharing products that I really love with you guys. We were gifted the boxes from Love Every. I want to say a huge thank you to Love Every for partnering.
partnering with me on this video. Um, the kids have really, really been enjoying the boxes. Again, they're toys and activities that I can feel good about my kids playing with, knowing that not only are they getting some really fun playtime, but also they're learning something and developing. Also, a big thank you to everybody who subscribed and watches the channel and engages with the content here. You guys are amazing. Thank you for loving us and supporting our family this way. You guys are the reason that we get to do cool things like work with brands that we really believe in and love, like love every. Right, are you ready to end this video so you can get back to playtime? Thanks for watching, guys. Again, thanks for all your support. If you haven't already and you're interested, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.